April. And um, today I'm going to be doing something a little bit, um, no, we've never done it before. And it's going to be reading popular song lyrics. This one I'm doing is Trumpets by Jason Derulo. It's a new one. Okay, so it starts out with the chorus. Every time I see you get undressed, I hear symphonies in my head. I wrote this song just looking at you, oh, oh. Yeah, the drums, they swing low, and the trumpets, they go, and the trumpets, they go, and the trumpets, they go. Da, 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 ra, ra, da, 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 ra, 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 da, da, they go. That is the chorus. Okay, and then it goes into the first verse where it says, Is it weird that I hear violins whenever you're gone? Is it weird that your butt remind me of a Kanye West song? Kanye West song. So right now we learned that, um, that, um, Kanye West, um, pops into Jason's head when he sees a girl's butt. Okay, well that was part of Trumpets, um, Moving on to another popular one, um, came out a little while ago called Habits. I actually really like this song, and now I know the lyrics, all of them. Okay, Habits by Tovlo. Um, it's only part of the song up until like the chorus. Okay, I eat my dinner in my bathtub, then I go to sex clubs, watching freaky people getting it on. It doesn't make me nervous. If anything, I'm restless. Yeah, I've been around and I've seen it all. So, what have you been doing there, Toblo? Um, I get home, I've got the munchies, binge on all my Twinkies, throw up in the tub, then I go to sleep. And I drank up all my money, tasted kind of lonely. Well, right now I feel really bad for her. <laughs> Although she's been doing some pretty bad things, so. She needs to get her life together. And then the chorus is, you're gone and I've got to stay high all the time to keep you off my mind. Ooh, 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 ooh. High all the time to keep you off my mind. Ooh, 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 ooh. Spend my days locked in a haze, trying to forget you, babe. I fall back down, got to stay high all my life to forget I'm missing you. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, I think Tovlo needs to go see a counselor and needs to work some stuff out with this guy or girl, whoever. Um, I feel really bad for her and um, I think she just needs a hug. Okay, moving on to the last song, which is Classic by MKTO. Yeah, okay, it's only part of it. Okay, ooh girl you're shining like a Fifth Avenue diamond and they don't make you like they used to you're never going out of style Ooh, pretty baby this world might have gone crazy the way you saved me who could blame me when i just want to make you smile so that's the chorus you've you're over my sorry my writing <laughs> okay chorus you're over my head i'm out of my mind thinking i was born in the wrong time one of a kind living in a world gone plastic baby you're so classic baby you're so classic baby you baby you're so classic so i actually really like this song um because it's just kind of saying that like the girls who are keeping it real you know they should um get more credit plastic surgery can be a good thing and a bad thing when it was made it was made for people who have gotten in like serious accidents and stuff like that well then obviously you understand if you need to get plastic surgery I mean, now people are kind of like abusing it and I mean, they're kind of recreating themselves into what they want to be when, like, you just need to kind of accept who you are and, um, just make the best out of it. Problems with, like, myself and my body because all my friends, including Sammy, are a lot smaller than me and are, um, a lot shorter than me. And, um, my mom even is, like, seven inches shorter than me. And, um, I'm only 5'6", but... Or five seven ish and it's still um a lot of my friends are only like five two five three five four five feet you know and they're all super skinny because they're super short some it took me a while to like get used to the fact that like 
that's just the way their body's made. They're not doing anything really different than what I am, and this is just the way my body's made, and I just need to get over myself and um, move on with my life. But, you know, some people, I mean, it, be it can become an addiction to always find, there's, I mean, you're always going to have a flaw. Everybody's always going to have flaws. They're always going to think of themselves in, like, some sort of way. You're always going to compare yourself. Like, I always look at girls and think, oh my gosh, like, how come my arms aren't as skinny as her arms or how come my body is in that shape and mean like i have a figure kind of like this but it's not definitely not a like a it's like a and um i'm always gonna be curvier it's just how i was made i was i was a stick for a really long time but that was before i hit puberty obviously and um i mean just those girls who I like envy and like I always compare myself to other people it's never gonna change but I've learned to just kind of talk myself out of like oh my gosh I need to like go on a strict diet now because she's way skinnier than me and she's like the same height as me okay yeah but her bone structure is probably different than mine and um maybe her genes are different than mine maybe she has super skinny parents and like, it's just how it is you know you People just need to understand that, like, if you were born with straight hair, you have straight hair. If you were born with super curly hair, like my friend Brooke, she rocks it because she realizes that's just how it's gonna be. And that's saying my hair likes to do these weird things. That's why I have it pulled back because today was one of those poof days where it's just like, pfft. you wanna see it? Here, I'll show you. Yeah. I look like a lion. But I've learned to just deal with it and move on. And that's kind of what I have to say for all those who are going through like some body issue type of things where you're not quite comfortable with yourself. You know what? I think we've all been there. And whether you like to admit it or not, everybody finds some sort of flaw in yourself. And if you don't, oh my gosh, like I need to meet you and you need to tell me your ways because I always find flaws in myself. You know what? That's just how it's going to be, but you have to learn how to like be like yeah yeah there's room for improvement and so I'm gonna do that improvement by working on other things like maybe eating healthier or maybe getting more exercise but you don't want to push it too far like going anorexic or bulimic I don't know why like thoughts like that have crossed my mind but I'm not gonna do it because I know that that's just putting your body through so much pain and if you have or if you're struggling through this right now Talk to me, you can email us at our, um, on the, um, work email in here, and just, just chat with me, because I could talk to you about so much, and I can talk to you about ways to find hope, and all that kind of fun stuff, and if you know somebody who is going through that, and you just want to, like, learn how to be a good friend for them, if they're going through some, um, self-harm, or including anorexia and all that, you need to talk to somebody about that. Me and Sammy are both here, I'm sure we both would have it such amazing advice to give and yeah i'll put the email down below um so now we just gotta get to the basics give this thing a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more we're trying to do weekly videos because now school started today i know um well ours actually starts on the 15th but otherwise for everybody else started on the second and i feel bad for you i feel bad for me too i feel bad for everybody who has to go to school if you like content like this We'll do more of it. You gotta let me know by liking it or by commenting. And um, if you have any suggestions on any kind of videos we want to do, just write a comment below, email us, anything. And we are sure to try and do that video if it is possible. Alright, well, this has been Keegan on Kimmy Burrow, and I'll see you guys next time.